InsyaAllah makin kita faham Al-Quran Makin kuat iman kita Makin kita rapat dengan Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Iman muslimin dan muslimah yang saya hormat sekalian Kadang-kadang jadi karak dalam hati kita Dan oleh kerana itu kita sekali-sekala kena buat iman test You cannot just keep yourself like that Ha Kita berasa letih sikit, kita buat darah tinggi test Kita buat berasa weak sikit, kita buat test ni, test ni Into health Iman kita also, you must do some You know, sometimes sit with yourself And do iman <coughs> test Test your iman And we have here symptoms of iman yang lemah How can you know your iman is lemah? Before we talk about iman lemah You know what is iman? Iman is the, is your aqidah Your belief Dan kita ni tahu semua rukun iman Billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi Wal yawmil akhir qadar dan qadar yang buruk Kita sabar yang baik, kita syukur All this we know But it's very possible, you know, but you still not kuat. So how can you know your iman is lemah or kuat? Number satu sekali, you are terlibat dalam masyarakat, but you tak berasa masyarakat. Itu tanda iman lemah. You still talk lies. You still talk bad about people. You still, you know, maki hamun orang. You still nombak orang. All this... And you believe that you are not doing is nothing. Ah, uh, that tanda iman lemah. Number two, hati keras. Orang mari mentak tulon, you tak berasa nak tulon. You tengok ibu bapa nak marah sama kita, kita hati sama kita. You tak berasa apa? Itu kita bagi apa? Hati keras. Ah, uh, orang anak yatim, you tak berasa ini feeling nak tulon. Orang miskin mentak pun nak sedekah, tak berapa nak bagi. So this is hati keras we call it. Number tiga, you buat ibadah tak sempurna, salah tak khusyuk, terkabul sabun cakap hal orang, ha, maki hamun orang, marah orang. Ha, maknanya iman tak kuat. Because if iman kuat, your ibadah will be berkualiti. Masa kita buat ibadah tu, you buat sempurna. You masa nak salah nak khusyuk. Masa nak puasa, every part in you also puasa Okay Number empat Nak buat ibadah malas ha, Teka nak salat, malas ha, Teka nak Ini ibadah, you do Berasa tak berapa lah ha, tak, tak berasa sangat nak buat You know, tak ada urge to do You do it with by force This is standard Because if your iman kuat You will do the salah with happiness You will do it with full heart But if iman lemah, malas Buat kerana nak buat Kerana kena buat Bukan buat dengan ikhlas, no Okay Number lima Very moody Very moody Sekali happy, sekali tak happy Unstable uh, Sekali tenang, sekali tak tenang Kalau orang iman kuat, very stable Terka susah pun, they look okay Teka senang pun, they look okay But if the iman is not kuat Teka senang, oh, ya oh Teka sedih, sedih Sangat-sangat You are not wasatiya Because you should be as a Muslim You don't show your Your temper, you don't show your You know, we should be Because Allah said what? Inna Allah la yuhibbu kulla mukhtalin fakhur Allah tak suka orang sombong, orang angkuk Orang bila ada ni'mat nampak sangat Want to show off And also Allah tak suka Orang bila ada ujian Show also to people very sad, very depressed You must be what? Moderate Laq baja'alnakum ummatan wasata Sederhana Okay? Baik Number Anam You don't feel anything when you hear the Quran You don't feel anything kalau tak rasa apa dengar Quran atau sendiri baca Quran, your iman is lemah. Because by right, when we hear the Quran, you should, you know, you should feel scared in the same time. Want to know what is the meaning. Uh, nak dengar, nak berhati-hati. Kalau dengar Quran tak rasa apa, 
Ha, sam bibul bila dengar Quran tak rasa apa? Tak bila dengar bi ramli di mana aku cari ganti. Ha, air mata nak turun tak? Masya-Allah. Allahu akbar. Itu very dangerous. Ha, Quran also by right when you hear the Quran ada perasaan rasa kalau ayat nangis nak nangis, ayat sabit sama neraka worry, ayat sabit sama syurga rindu sangat ke syurga. Ada perasaan lah. Uh, even so you don't understand But still you have to have some feelings Number tujuh Lalai Very very lalai uh, Asar nak habis Baru Maghrib nak masuk Baru nak sebain asar Itu iman tak kuat Iman lemah Kalau orang iman kuat You have a strong faith uh, You dengar izan Nak pray straight away If you are the type who lalai Still your iman Has to be Baikilah And number Laban You are not angry If anyone talk bad About your prophet Your religion If people joke You joke with them uh, People yang iman kuat Anyone try to talk Anything bad about religion Oh You cannot stand it You will defend You will quit You will stand up uh, Cannot That shows your iman is kuat Okay Number sembilan, you like to show off. Oh, very, very much like to show off. My car like this, my house like that, my husband like this. Uh, we have this, we have show off. That people, you can say iman lemah. Because by right, if your iman is what? All this is sambah dunia. You know, you have, you don't have, huh? you don't have to show off. Keep on telling people, I have this, I have that. And number 10, very stingy. Uh, stingy ni is tanda iman lemah. Because Rasulullah SAW said, stingy and iman cannot be together in the heart of the mu'min. If the person is mu'min, iman kuat cannot be stingy. Okay. And not only stingy for people, even stingy for yourself. Which we call it what? Shuh. Shuh, nak makan sedap-sedap. Saya nak bayar. Saya nak beli. Ha, that is shuh. There is a difference between shuh and bukh. Shahih, bakhil. Shahih, even stingy on him, <coughs> his own set. Nak beli baju yang murah. Padahal ada nak pakai kereta buruk. Padahal you can afford it. Itu shahih. Ha, you don't mind. Kereta buruk. Duit ada dah. Tapi malas nak beli. Ha, kerana apa saya? Ha, itu shahih. Uh, Bakhil, stingy with people. You must know the difference between these two words. Ada shahih, ada bakhil. Shahih, even in his own self, he is sayan doing. Uh, tabi bakhil is sayan terhadap Quran. Okay? So, ash-shuh wal bukhl. And Allah already said in the Quran, dalam surah Muhammad 38, Wallahu al-ghaniyu wa antum al fuqara Aku yang maha kaya Allah Kamu yang miskin Don't try to be stingy Don't try to be bakhil Because all comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And then another tanda Iman lemah also Number 11 You say what you don't do Cakap tak bikin Itu orang yang iman lemah Okay And then number 12 You are so happy when something bad happened to your sadara Muslim, especially to someone you don't like. You are so happy. And you will be saying, what? Ah, badam munka. Ah, badam. That is very bad. If you are a good mu'min, you should not be happy when something bad happens to people. Even so, you don't like them. Even so, you are not good with them. But you still very sad if something happened to your sadara Muslim. Banya ta'silatul rahim. Tanda iman lemah Betul silatul rahim Dengan kerabat Dengan saudara As far as you are happy You have everything You don't need them So you never care for the others This is tanda iman lemah Kalau iman kuat Kita nak menhayati juga Bersaudaraan dalam Islam Silatul rahim ha, Because Rasulullah SAW said Barang siapa nak umur panjang Rizki murah Mesti silaturahim dengan kerabat, dengan waris. 
Ha, because silatul rahim ni fadilatnya banyak. Sampai Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dalam surat nisa he said what? وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا Bertakwalah kepada Allah yang kamu nak apa-apa pun Mesti mentak dengan dia Number two after Allah is what? Wal-arham Silatul Rahim Silatul Rahim dengan ibu bapa Silatul Rahim dengan saudara Dengan kerabat Kita tak boleh hidup di dunia ni Seorang gitu Mesti silatul Rahim Sampai Nabi said what? Barang siapa nak murah rezeki Nak umur banjar ha, Mesti Allah akan bagi if you silatul rahim insya Allah. Fourteen very sad and very scared when something happen to others like satu rumah kena curi dekat rumah kita very scared very worry tak tidur malam malam fikir banyak ha. anything happen to you musibah ka very sad tak boleh bangun tak boleh tengok orang Menangis, itu iman lemah. Kalau iman kuat, Qadar Allah wa masya af'al. All this taqdir Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raja'ud. Kita semua akan balik ke Tuhan. And in the same time, orang kena dekat rumah kita. Apa? Kalau kita, Tuhan nak selamat kita, Tuhan selamat. Kalau nak berlaku kepada kita juga, what to do? So you tawakkal, you serah kepada Allah. You bercaya kepada Qadar dan Qadar. Okay? Okay? Akhir sekali, of course, uh, suka bantah-bantahan. Uh, itu orang iman lemah. Suka argue with people. And you must win. Uh, kalau orang iman kuat, tak payah bantah-bantahan lah. Everyone have his view. Uh, you just express your view. Orang bercaya, okay. Orang tak bercaya, uh, okay. So, jangan bantah-bantahan because this is standard iman lemah. Akhir sekali, too much caring about yourself, your house, your this. Mughala, extremely uh, look after to the limit that become too much. Uh, kita ni, we must be sederhana lah. Uh, cannot over, over, anything over, Allah tak suka, Nabi Muhammad tak suka. We must be sederhana. So, if over dress over house perhiasan over over anything over tu tanda iman lemah jugalah we must be what uh, media uh, not too much okay inshallah and of course hubbu dunya you love dunya so much ha uh, sampai tak ingat langsung ke akhirat everything dunya 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 ini tanda iman lemah That is why muslimin dan muslimat Yang saya hormat sekalian Awal iman Must be strong Sampai Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Tegur orang badwins Dalam surah al-hujurat Qalatil a'rabu amanna Qul lan tu'minu Walakin qulu aslamna Walamma yadukul al-imanu Fi qulubikum Allah tegur orang Badwins zaman Rasulullah SAW because they say to Rasulullah we already beriman dah give us this, give us that Allah said, they say amanna they are not amanna they are baru aslamna Islam lain, iman lain iman bila masuk hati muslimin dan muslimat yang saya hormat sekalian insyaAllah all this you will not be terlibat you will not be terlibat in showing off You will not be terlibat in hubbud dunia. You will not be terlibat in bantah-bantahan. You will not be terlibat in masyak. Any small masyak can make you cannot sleep the whole night. You do something wrong, you cannot sleep. Itu iman kuat. Tapi some people iman lemah. They are doing all the masyak but they don't feel anything. So what? So the iman is lemah. Kerana itu insyaAllah, Allah to gorda a group of people. He said, don't say, I am a mu'min. You are baru muslim. Islam lain, iman lain. And of course, how nice if you are muslim, you are mu'min, and you upgrade yourself to be muhsin, ihsan. 